All 70 members of Idaho's House of Representatives left the State House back in May after the longest legislative session in Idaho history. They did so, though, without formally adjourning, kind of leaving the door open to come back without having to be called back by the governor, which is how they usually do it. So after six months away, well, they're going to be back in just a few weeks. Joe Paris spoke with House Speaker Scott Bedke about why lawmakers are coming back and what they are looking to accomplish. The scoop is, is that the uh, legislature will come back in, both the House and the Senate, on November 15th. Uh, as per the laws or the resolution that we passed back in May. And so we have some unfinished business. We've got to take up uh, the ethics report uh, from the Ethics Committee. Uh, and that will be filed with the whole House and they'll take that up. But I think more importantly, uh, starting at 7.30 that morning, we will seat the Ways and Means Committee and they will introduce all of the different pieces of legislation that, that are, you know, that are pending out there. We'll be on the floor of the House by 9 and we'll start the process, regular order. Is there a scope on what topics legislation can be based on? Well, this is uh, not a special session, so it's, it, there are no restrictions. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, it's our goal to be done in an expeditious way. I mean, we're spending taxpayer dollars every day that we're here, you know, that cost. But I think that for the most part, um, this, will, this is a response to the Biden administration's announcements on, uh, uh, you know, well, it's the overreach frankly, that uh, the Biden administration has, has shown us on, on mandates, etc., and uh, to a person, our caucus is, uh, uh, is upset about that and wants to have, be ready for an appropriate response. In the event that legislation is passed on the House floor, you need your partners in the Senate to tango <clears throat> as well to make it law. I guess, is there a thought of how the Senate could be involved or is this a situation we hope we don't get into? Well, uh, you know, the fact that we're in a bicameral system is not lost on the House of Representatives. And so, but, uh, but having said that, we will do us and they will do them. And, uh, and hopefully there'll be consensus on, on the uh, on some of the issues that we'll bring forward. But we will bring forward legislation uh, to uh, be prepared against the, you know, to push back on the federal mandates and uh, then we'll see how it goes from there. This doesn't, I don't want this to be overly scripted and restrictive that way because again, this is regular session. But uh, the thing that brings us together, the things, the emergent issue is the Biden administration and its announcements. And so that, that's what brings us together. Most everything else near, it can wait until January 10th. It's not that far away now. And so, that's, uh, so we'll push things that can be pushed off into the regular session or the session that starts in January. But these other issues uh, we feel are of, of such a nature that we need to act now. By law and statute, it may not have to be a narrow conversation on legislation. Would you expect it to be? Well, I, I, I think that most, you know, the committees, the chairs are in charge of their own agendas. And I think most all of them are, are know what needs to be taken up now and what can be pushed off until January. That's not to say that there are not a lot of unfinished businesses, take property taxes, for example, and the list can go on and on. But those are, are uh, issues that I think are better taken up, at, you know, in, in January where we can devote weeks of public hearings and, and the process to coming, you know, getting to the, a good answer on some of these larger questions. There's a lot of ma lawmakers in this building that are going to be campaigning for something heading into the end of the year, and it's already started. Right. I've heard a comment from the community, well, is this just going to be lawmakers taking an opportunity to each grandstand and campaign on the House floor? You are there know, concerns about that? Well, I, I, I can s actually know. Uh, last May, Anybody that watch, was watching our process knew that this day was coming. And so it's here and uh, we have issues that we need to take up. I would, uh, I, I expect the best behavior from all members and to take care of our business in an expeditious way. Our goal is to be done by uh, that Wednesday, but that's in no way a, a limit. Uh, but uh, I think most all of the legislators that we've talked to have plans for that weekend and they want to come in, take care of the business, close the books and uh, get ready for January 10th. All right, plans for, everybody's got plans for the weekends, Joe. Uh, three days they want to get this done. Okay, so this is the caveat here. Okay. Because the Senate 
they signy died to end their side of the session, meaning doesn't it mean, I should say, that the governor has to call them back because they followed the rules and said, we're out, but the governor then has to call them back. So what happens now with the Senate? We're in uncharted territory, and I hate to use the word, Brian, but this is unprecedented. And we've been sure. talking about this since it happened back in May that the Senate formally adjourned for the year, mm -hmm. saying we're done for the year, we'll see you next year. And the House said, no, we're going to keep going. Maybe we'll come back at the end of the year. Um, I checked in with Senate leadership this afternoon, and they basically tell me they're weighing their options. They're talking with the members to figure out exactly what the members would like to do next. In terms of legal avenues or, or legal options, we'll have to get uh, probably an opinion for the Attorney General's office on how this whole thing comes together. However, Brian, all of it's incumbent on the House of Representatives coming to an agreement on a piece of legislation most likely focused on the federal vaccine mandates. It's wait and see for now, but I, I am under the impression we'll learn more from uh, the representatives in the Senate tomorrow, and we'll hope to have that update here on the 208. So it is conceivable the House could come back, spend three days, and the Senate be like, cool, it's possible. see you in January. It's possible. Wow. Boy, the, the action never stops in Idaho <laughs> politics, Brian. It doesn't. You take that to the bank. Thanks for keeping up with it, Joe. No problem.